Good morning, guys, and welcome back. Before I get started on the DIY, I'll show you how this is going to look when we're all done. going outside and I want to show you some new products that I'm really excited about that I'll be using today but before we get started I'm just going to put an all-purpose sealer all over this piece and I mean the bottom all the sides the tops every part of the trim for two reasons one is that it will weatherproof it I didn't know that that's what a sealer did, but over wood, it's just going to sink in so you won't even see it. And you can paint on top of it and decoupage like we're going to do. So it will pr protect it from the elements from the inside so that the moisture doesn't get to your work and ruin the work. And when we're all done, we'll also put something else over the outside that's going to protect it from all of the weather, including the UV rays, which can mess up your work also. But the other thing I wanted to mention is the wood can be pretty dry and this will soak up a lot of this sealer rather than your paint. So the link for my Amazon store is down below and you'll find the supplies in there. However, the paints and the papers that I'm using today will only be available from the other link. And I'll say that in the description because that's a company that doesn't sell on Amazon. And you don't pay any extra by going through my links. And with all of that said, I am just going to add a coating of this and let this dry and then we'll get started with the rest of but the I've DIY. covered this whole thing with that multi-purpose sealer. Now I'm going to paint a flat white color over the whole surface and I'm going to be using this matte acrylic paint by Pent Art. So everything is painted. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to run out to my coffee shop and get my latte while this is drying. And then I'm going to come back and decoupage, which as you know, is the most exciting part of any project ever. <laughs> All right, I'm a little and obsessed. Here is it. our dried project. And here is the beautiful rice paper that I'm going to use today. Now, in order to fit this on here, I'm going to cut away some of this and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Taking my decoupage scissors, I wanna get right up along the bottom of this word here. Let me line this up so that it's nice and straight. Sure I center it here. Now we're going to try our new decoupage varnish and glue. Again, I'm using the matte finish.
If you have an opening like I do right here, well, what will need to be opened, what you can do is just decoupage right over it and wait for it to dry and then use either a razor blade or a box cutter, any kind of very sharp straight edge tool that you feel comfortable with to just slice right through there, but definitely wait until it's dry. So you notice I added the decoupage glue over the wood first. Added my rice paper, my beautiful rice paper, and now I'm adding a coat over the top. You always want to make sure we get these edges. All right, and I'll do this piece right here also. And we want to make sure we let this dry thoroughly before we move on to the next step. And for the sake of consistency, I'm going to add decoupage, this decoupage glue over this whole surface. going to file these side pieces off so that leaves a nice clean edge so I see a tiny bit of a line here between where the paper ends and the paint is so I'm just going to take a small pouncer brush and I'm going to go over that edge and pull some of it into the paper and I always like to add a little bit of a splatter to the work that I do so I normally wet this a little bit and this is distilled water you can go heavier or darker with this Now I'm going to let this dry and I'll have a link down below that I am going to use a varnish over this that is going to protect this from the sun, the rain, the snow, everything that it needs to. And then I still have another step to do after that. So once this dries, I'm going to take it outside and spray it with this varnish. This is from a mold that I have. And instead of using clay, I used hot glue. I have a very small hot glue gun with a very fine tip on it that gets into these fine areas. But it dries so quickly. So I painted them with the same color acrylic paint that I used on the birdhouse. And then I'm taking the same color that I outlined the birdhouse with and I'm using a very fine brush. I am going to be adding this little trim of pearls around the outside. This is not a string of pearls, but I have this container of different sized flat back pearls. If you're keeping your birdhouse inside, then the Pent Art makes a glue for gems that you can use. But I do know that the label says that you can't uh, let it get don't let it be exposed to frost and since we live in the Northeast we are going to get some frost here it is so the gem glue normally is a great option for this but because I'm putting it outside I am using the E6000 I'm going to do that off camera a because it's boring and B because it's going to take me quite a while once these are on here they're on here Change for lambs I have these gems. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this outside because I'm pretty sure this will now rust. I still want to protect the birdies, so I'm going to probably do a different birdhouse. <laughs> still waterproof it, 
However, in this case, I'm not going to put this outside because I kept looking at this asking what it needed. It needed something else. And I decided because I'm going to keep this inside, or I may keep it in the garage because the birds get into our garage every year and they build a nest in whatever they can find. Now I'm going to use the gem glue. In order to have a pretty perfect shape, I'm just using this scotch tape dispenser. Okay, my gems. Whoops, that came right out. So we got a nice line for the gym. You want to be careful not to turn the gems upside down and get glue on them. I am going to add some glitter over the top of this and I'm just going to put a shiny top coat over it. And while the top coat is wet, I'm going to sprinkle some pinkish glitter over this. You guys know how I love my glitter. there's our video for the week my friends I may be posting another video next week or it might take me two weeks since I'm working on a larger project but those are some of the beautiful papers I got from the decoupage queen along with the beautiful paints and I love the way this turned out and hopefully it's going to make some little birdie very happy in the garage and I hope you guys like it and uh, thanks for subscribing and commenting and i will see you guys next week or the week after thanks again my friends bye bye